hello everybody welcome back to the channel it is a little bit late tonight and we are headed to Durango Colorado for something very exciting for the RV Good morning slash afternoon. Uh, we are here at Van Lab in Durango, Colorado. We told you guys we were coming to do something pretty cool, um, something we need. We are getting a DC to DC charger in the Winnebago Echo. That way we have another power source a backup because our Balmar is starting to fail. So we need to make sure we have that just in case. So we're posted up in our nice reclining camp chairs. We've got Muna in her expandable bed. And the little man is... Kind of behind your chair now. <laughs> Down below there. Oh. And we oh. got this nice view. <laughs> Let's see what the little man's getting up to. He's trying to... <laughs> Say hi, Bjorn. <laughs> It needs to be tightened a little bit so that we don't lose this little guy. <laughs> He's having fun. But we got this nice view. Temperature is probably what, around 70 degrees or so. A nice breeze. We're in the shade right here. Once the sun gets a little higher up in the sky, we'll go to the other side of this uh, little trailer. But uh, they're in there working on it. So once it's done, we will, get, we will show you the finished product. Good? You ready to come out? Yeah. It's all done. <laughs> yes. Well, after a few hours, like four, in the sun, we're all we're pretty sunburned. It um, is really bad. <laughs> but the job is done. We actually just came over here to Grass Burger to grab some late lunch. But I want to show you guys what we had done. So if you look here underneath our seating area, sorry, moving the camera around, you'll see right there, that is a Red Arc DC to DC charger. And what's really cool about this is we actually have this yellow wire down here that can be connected to another solar panel. And we can actually input I have to look at the specs. I looked previously, but I don't know off the top of my head because that wasn't the reason we were buying this. But I believe I can hook up to an additional 600 watts of solar panels. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll try to put it in the video here, um, the actual number if that's wrong. But huge game changer. Uh, at idle, we were only getting 18 amps from our second alternator. Uh, per battery, so 36. Now we are getting 34 to 36 amps per battery, so 74 to 76 amps total parked at idle. And while driving, we now jumped from, what were we getting, 36 per? So 72 uh, to 76 was our range before, and now we are getting around 104 to 120 amps while driving. Well, hello. hello. <laughs> we are down at Forest Road, uh, just outside of Silverton. Probably can hear that behind us. Got a little stream coming down right That's here. That's the small one. Massive river back there. Kind of don't really want to try to go across these dinky boards though. <laughs> Doesn't look like the best idea. Um, but success on the DC to DC charger, everybody. Give that two thumbs up. And like I was saying with the Red Arc, I don't know the specifics of it, but it's a Red Arc 50 amp DC to DC charger. Uh, a little bit more expensive than some of the others on the market, but that's because it has a built-in uh, solar charge controller. So you can input 
uh, external solar panels so we can add some more on the roof now or we can just buy some portable ones and make a port and a hook to it uh, so we're going to kind of play our options on that maybe add a another panel or something up on the roof we don't know uh, but pretty cool and as you guys can see i'll throw in on the screen right now the numbers are looking pretty good especially compared to uh what we were getting just from the ball mark. so we are going to get the ball mark fixed at winnebago and we'll be inputting some serious power uh, just at idle not even driving Well, good morning from my strawberry looking face. I think it looks even worse this morning. We set up Starlink last night and it worked flawlessly here at our little boondocking spot by the river, which if you listen closely, you can hear it. So we are getting that away and we are going to head into Silverton and check that out. Strawberry is angry. <laughs> the entire Berkey fell over. <laughs> it went for a ride. <laughs> and the strawberry is angry about it. <laughs> Should have seen your face. <laughs> Her reaction. <laughs> I wish I would have had the camera on. We didn't have She's it like, on the first time it happened either. That is not what I did. <laughs> That's what you did. <laughs> well, Berkey down, but Road's a little bumpy, but Echo made it fine. It was actually a little more rutted out this morning because we got rain overnight. So uh wasn't as smooth as yesterday. So now we're trying to figure out what our game plan is. We're parked here on the side of the dirt road. But catch you in a bit. So just in case you guys were wondering, we are driving on the million dollar highway which is considered one of the most dangerous highways in America. So we are chugging right along, right on it, but it hasn't been too bad yet. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see 